Hey everybody, it's been a long time uh, since my last video. We've actually moved, we had a baby, and I'm about to have another baby. So it's been uh, a little over, I think, two years, but it's very good to be back. Uh, since we moved into our new house, it's old, it's from 1790, so I have a lot of home projects I plan on filming, and um, part of this video is part of that home project. As you've seen on the title, and what you clicked here, is uh, the Wise Thermostat. We bought the cameras from them, and the th cameras are great for home security, so we thought we would give the Weiss thermostat a shot. It was only $50, and that's incredible, especially when you compare it to the other smart thermostats out there. Uh, I was very excited about it until I received it, and I realized that this will not work uh, with my current setup in the house. Um, I just replaced the boiler in this house. It's a five zone forced uh, hot water boiler. Um, and with each zone, um, I have a thermostat correlating, but it's just a two wire thermostat. It's, it's uh, just a, a bimetallic thermostat, just on and off switch. And that uh, just relays 24 volts back down to the boiler, signaling it to come on and circulate water. Uh, so the WISE thermostat actually requires a common. Uh, if you have a thermostat at home and it, it's, a, it's, it's a three wire or more, uh, you should be able to use this thermostat. They have an adapter that can go into your air handle or your boiler in order to make that work. But in my case, um, it's just not uh, that simple. But there is a fix and that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, right now, with our wires, we can't use them, so I bought a big roll of 18.3, and what that's going to allow me to do is I'm going to snip the wires going upstairs, I'm going to use the wire to fish the new wire back up, and we're actually going to use uh, the new wire, we're going to wire into a neutral, into the board itself, uh, or common and then we're going to run the three up so that way I can run the thermostat and control the house and have a smart home the way that I want to have uh, a smart home. So stick around I'm going to try to not belabor this video and uh, just go through the steps and hopefully you get something out. Alright so here's my zone board down here these go to circulator pumps there's 120 volts down here uh, this feeds a transformer and we go to the low voltage side which is 24 volts at the top right now it's on uh, we actually have an output over here of 24 volt amp current and that's really good because that can help us pull uh, the neutral that we're looking for so that we can uh, run the thermostats but Okay, so I've disconnected the wire from the panel, uh, the circulator panel, so that there's no power on it. Make sure you always do that first. Turn off your boiler, shut the power off completely, take the wire out, make it safe. Then you can work on the circuit um, without the fear of being shocked. So I just want to show you, I, I cut this wire. Uh, it goes up into the ceiling, um, you know, way up and up there. However, Right now, uh, what I want to do is just give you a little bit of detail here on how I uh, splice wires uh, for pulling. So what I do is I, I cut back the sheathing right here, and then I'm actually going to tie in uh, two of these wires here, and so that it's not, you're not increasing the diameter, but you can just create a hook on them and that's gonna create a really strong connection here. You see that? See those two go together? And I'll just pinch them down. This is so it fits through the holes a little easier. And I always step the other wires as well. You're going to notice the one I'm cutting, uh, it already has three wires, but it's spliced somewhere up in the wall and I just don't have enough wire. So that's why we're going to go ahead and change this out. 
and I'm not going to open up the wall to, to find out where they did it, you know, 30 years ago. Okay, so I've already taken off the faceplate and the actual thermostat. Now we just have the base plate. Uh, we know that the power's off, so I'm going to go ahead and take the wires out. And if you all don't have one of these Klein mini screwdrivers, you've got to get one. These things are amazing, especially for controls. All right, let's pull this out. Let's take this backer plate off. Pull up. Okay, you can see it, it slid through the hole because the diameter of where I spliced the two wires together just hooked them together. It's actually a little bit smaller than the rest, so it worked out beautifully. Okay, so let's take a look at the WISE thermostat. Here's the thermostat itself. Uh, it's pretty sleek looking, simple. Uh, and that's what I want. It's going to have a digital display, or it does have a digital display. Uh, if you do not have a common on your uh, current system, and you have multiple wires coming up, such as an air conditioning system, this is what they give you. This actually goes inside of your air handler, your boiler downstairs or upstairs, wherever it's at, but not at the thermostat. And it uh, has you hook these up certain ways. And... Uh, pretty simple. I'm not going to need this because I am pulling new wires. Here's the new wires. Have them separated. I put my service loop back down into the wall um, and I've already stripped them. So here's the base plate that everything goes on. So I'm just going to put these through. Uh, okay, now that we have the base plate mounted, let's go ahead and hook up our wires. I'm going to use my green wire for the common, my white for the W1, and uh, on RH I'm going to use the red. We'll start from the this side, push the tab down, it's all pushed in, it's clean. Okay, so back down in the panel, I've routed the wire, uh, this new wire, back down um, into the uh, control board and uh, what I'm going to do, I've actually already stripped everything, got it ready. Uh, I'm just going to feed it down in here. The power is off. Okay, so I have everything hooked up. We have the common hooked up here. Um, let's just go ahead and check. Yep, we have 27 volts, and that's good. So this is power coming back down, this is power going up. This is your common. Uh, so all we need to do now is go upstairs and check the thermostat and hook it up to Wi-Fi and make sure that it connects and we start setting our parameters. All right, so uh, the thermostat is powered up. I just want to show you a couple things that are in the package. You do have some really nice labels um, that are here. You have some very quick start instructions, but uh, really what you need is not these. It's your phone. Uh, so now that it's powered up that I showed you or told you about, uh, we're just going to add advice, scroll down, Wise uh, thermostat. Let's begin. Um, it actually tells you the tools that you have. Make sure you turn off your power. It actually gives you instructions. Remove your existing cover. It tells you, I mean, step by step how to install this. It's it's pretty neat. Uh, you know, good on you, Wise, for taking this level of detail to help people out. Um, do you have a high voltage system? No, mine's 24 volts. If you have, have a vi high voltage system, I don't believe this is going to work for you. So no. And take a picture of your current wiring. So if you're not sure, you can take a picture and um, 
I believe that this will help you. Uh, but in, for the sake of time, I, I'm not going to go through that exercise. So we're going to skip this. Um, I don't have any existing jumpers. I don't need to worry about that. And then you actually tell them what terminals you have. And uh, for us, we have RH, W, and C. Uh, and it shows you the tools that you're going to need. Yes, my system is still off. Let's not get electrocuted today. Begin. So the terminals, uh, RH actually needs to go to RC. Uh, w, W1 goes to W1. C goes to C. All right, great. We've already done that. That's fine. Uh, disconnect and remove your old thermostat. Okay, that's done. Okay, and throw the wires back through the panel. You mount the base plate. Uh, you put the uh, wires into the receiver areas and just to the ports. And you put the thermostat on. You turn the power back on. And uh, the screen is visible. Mine's on. Add wise thermostat to your account. Begin. It's actually searching for the thermostat right now. Ah, it's pairing. Wi-Fi right now. Uh, we're going to name it. Uh, this is actually in our dining room. Next. Okay, so we are successful, and this is how the wires actually uh, are connected. Oh, so now it's going to act. It's going to ask us what type of system I have. Uh, I have a propane system. Um, it's you know it's a radiator. Okay, now it's ready to use. Begin. Um, I'm since my house is 1790. Let's just go ahead and, and jump for savings all the way. <laughs> Next, uh, we're home 65, away 52, sleep 63. You know what? Uh, let, let's drop that to 62. Whoa. 62 at night time. We want uh, Celsius, Fahrenheit. All right, I'm actually going to change. We, we go to bed. Uh, let's stick. Uh, we have a lot of small kids, so we'll say 8 o'clock. Let's go ahead and change this to 8 o'clock. 8 p.m. We'll save that. Let's test our system. Begin. Yep, I can hear the boiler just kicked on. So it did its job. This is the thermostat, so you can change it. Oop, it's a little quick. Um, it's 68 degrees. Currently, the heat's set to 65. Um, controls down here, you have a lot of different information that you can use. Sorry, I know it's hard to see. Um, we can go back. There's insights that shows you statistics and history about the uh, running of the system. Uh, I'm, I'm really interested in statistics. I like the trending. Uh, so uh, very, very cool. And I'll be able to calculate a lot of energy cost. So let's just get out of there. Uh, the settings here, auto switch. You can lock the thermostat. So this is where the real control comes in, is within your phone. And you can do this from anywhere, right? Uh, so. 
uh, but it's it's very all right everybody so there you have it it was a very simple install we just had to make a, a quick line change we found the uh, workaround for the situation I'm very happy with the result uh, I'd like to say thank you to wise I'm not sponsored in any way but wise you made a very uh, useful device a smart device for an extremely reasonable cost at fifty dollars compared to uh, over two hundred dollars for a lot of other products uh, so good on you it seems it's very user friendly the best instructions I've actually ever seen uh, I would really like to uh, uh, provide a little bit more insight as I get more testing on this device um, I am installing more of these around the house and uh, you know hopefully have a little bit more smarter of a home I hope this video helped uh, someone out uh, if it did you know please give the thumbs up uh, feel free to leave a comment don't be too harsh out there people you know stay blessed and thanks for watching take care